And Big Rami is somebody that also is talked about quite a bit and has been leading into this competition as well. What was your expectation before you even saw him walk out on stage for Big Rami? Well, I don't know if it's my expectation, but I felt like this was a critical, critical contest for him because last year when he did the Olympia, he was not in the kind of condition he needed to be to fulfill a lot of the thoughts that people had that perhaps he's going to be, you know, a true contender for this title. Now he's had another year. He competed in New York. We didn't see that quite level of conditioning again. But I think he looks good here. Uh, has his body matured to the point that he's going to challenge a Phil Heath, for example? No, I don't believe that it has. But I think the bigger question for Big Rami is, does he finish out of the top five or six this year? Or does he crash that top five, beat a couple or one of those big names, and start to move up that Olympia ladder, if you will? Just a, a tremendous, tremendous amount of muscle. The only thing that's ever going to hold him back is a lack of muscle maturity and a lack of conditioning. And you see here, I think he looked better from the front than he does from the back. When you look at him from the back, you can see that the conditioning in his hamstrings and glutes is not where you would need it to be to really be competing for a first, second, third assuming that Phil, Kai, and Dennis bring the level of conditioning that we've come accustomed to with them. He does have the most impressive forehead veins of anyone that I've seen so far in the competition. Easily. He looks huge. Yeah, enormous, but that's never going to be the issue with him.